Hey yo, Duckies, Andy Lip here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and today we're looking at Round of Corners. Round is in, baby, and if you have been checking out my stream at twitch.tv slash Andy Lippy, you will definitely know that I'm all about changing my overlays to match current design standards and make everything look clean. I've actually done a video about my clean outline overlays just up here. It kind of ties in with this video, so definitely go and check that out. But Exceldro has made a cheeky little shader plugin for stream effects that will allow you to have rounded corners on any source. Not just that, but you will be able to resize the source, crop the source, and the corners will stay the same. So no need for image mass or anything like that, or other shader filters that are already out there, because they won't work like that. You will have to set it up for in every individual camera change that you have, but this one is completely versatile. But before we get into it, make sure you do the old like and subscribe so you don't miss any future content, okay? That was actually quite new. I did that live in OBS. I'm not doing any edits now. I just pretty much just send it straight through to YouTube. Let me know if you want that to stay or you want to know how to do that in the comments down below. So let's get on with it. Put your rock with a stone. Let's go! So just before we get into all the nitty gritty and everything like that, we need to make sure we've got a couple of things installed and downloaded. So the first thing that we're going to go to is inside of the OBS website, all these links are going to be down in the description. We need to download the OBS Shade Filter plugin. So hit download just there and it will download it directly from GitHub and it will just load a file that's just about 4 megabytes big. This is only available for Windows at the moment. We're just going to open up this folder. You'll see a couple of fo files in here. We need to copy the data and the OBS-plugins folder. So right click and copy that. And then we're going to go over to the C drive and go into either program files or program files 86. Mine's in program files and we're looking for OBS-studio all lowercase. Double click into there, right click and then just paste. If you've already got the Shader Filter plugin installed, it will ask you if you want to replace the files in there. I don't because I've already got them. It'll ask for administration privileges and all that jazz. Just say yes to everything and it'll get installed. Next up, we need to download the actual Shader Filter that Exceldros created just here. Again, link down below. Right click and hit save as. Change it to all files and it's going to be rounded rectangle dot shader. You can see I've got one that I've uh, renamed to uh, underscore Exceldro because inside of the shader filter plugin there is a rounded rectangle um, shader filter that actually doesn't work the way that Exceldro's coded here. So I'd recommend just renaming it something like that. Hit save. Mine's going to ask if I want to replace it. That is fine. Next up, we need to get that actually installed into the correct place. So we're going to go to downloads first and copy this shader filter and go to the C drive back into the OBS file that we went to earlier. We're going to go into data this time and then OBS plugins and then we're going to go to the OBS shader filter just there. Go to examples and just paste it into here because this is where it defaults. Uh, this is where it default opens any shader filters. If you've already got it, it'll ask you to replace. That's fine. And then right, so now we're in OBS with that all installed. I've created two scenes. I've created a blank scene that we're just going to call that my let's chat scene just there. And I've created a scene to use as a nested scene for the webcam. The reason being is because you want to add this effect onto a scene and not the actual uh, webcam source or video source or image like I'm using here because it will it will not work correctly and not allow you to resize it easily whilst keeping the same boundaries. So you want to create a nested scene just for it here. I'm going to delete this color source. So I've just got this plain image just here that Ash has created me for Dexter's birthday, which is awesome. Uh, I'm going to go right click on the scene that I want to add the filter to. Go to filters. Hit the plus and go to user divine shader. I'm going to call this rounded for now. And you'll see all these different options. It looks a little bit technical, but all you need to do is hit load shader from text file, hit browse, and go to the uh, rounded rectangle that we installed earlier. Open that up. Nothing will change, but some presets uh, at the bottom will will be able to add in there. So the corner radius, I'm going to change that to 50, and you can see the corners have changed to 500, even more. Um, 100, I'm just going to leave it at 100 for now. I can also add an outline if I want to, as you can see. Let me just make it lime green or something so you can see it. 
just like that if I wanted to. Uh, I could make a small line, make a large one. It's completely up to you, so it's nice to have kind of an outline. So that could be a really simple overlay. I'm just going to put it on 10. Once that's done, you can see if I start now resizing this, the uh, the corners will stay no matter what I do. If I hold down Alt and start cropping, the corners will stay. That is because I've put the filter on the scene rather than the source. So anything on this scene that I add in will have this outline and the rounded corners. Okay, so now if I want to add that into my just chatting scene or into my game scene, I just go to whichever scene it is I want, hit the plus sign, add a scene in there. I, I hate doing these videos because the amount of times that I say scene is just obscene. Oy, oh, God. Wow. So I add that just there, and you can see it is like a full um, screen because I've added that whole scene. So anything that's changed on here, so if I move that to the right side now in that scene, it'll move to the right side in there. If I zoom in on here, it'll zoom it in on there as well. So that is how to change any source, anything to have rounded corners. So it's up to date looking fresh, looking beautiful. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Hopefully I've kind of just hit the nail on the head. It's quite self-explanatory how it works. But if there's any questions or anything, just let me know, okay, guys? Make sure you do the old like and subscribe, okay? It really helped me out, and I've got so much content to teach you guys. Put your rock with a stone. I'll see you in the next one.